if I could do that. I could do that. I'm gonna do that. Dental floss. That'll work. I I think that'll work. Yeah, I'll just I'll just use that. Let's do this. of the world. I know that it was a stupid idea, but how was I supposed to know that I was gonna lose the end of the dental floss? I mean, it was only what, like two and a half, maybe three feet? I know, that's a lot. Okay, but you actually think that I should tell my parents? I mean, yeah, I did a lot of research and I only read stuff about how kids like to stick peas up their noses and, and marbles. Marbles are very popular as well. But nothing on dental floss. Not a single thing. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like if I were to tell my parents, then they would think that I'm an idiot or something. And, and then I'll, I'm never going to live it down. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Fine, I'll tell them in the morning. Yep. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll let you know how it goes tomorrow. Okay. Yep. Bye. Morning, huh? How are you? Made you some breakfast. Ah, half a grapefruit and a shot of orange juice. Still doing that diet, I see? Be nice. I'm getting back to my svelte fighting weight. All right. <laughs> Any big plans today? Uh, nope, nope, not today. So, hypothetically, what would happen if you were to stick two feet of dental floss up your nose? Come again? Hypothetically, what would happen if you were to stick two feet of dental floss up your nose? Why did you stick two feet of dental floss up your nose? Hypothetically. Okay, nobody says hypothetically to sticking dental floss up their nose. That's not a thing. Okay, fine. So my friend sent me this video of a girl who had pasta going in her nose and out her mouth like this. Oh, I've seen that before. It's actually, it's actually really, really funny. Um, and I was doing nothing that Saturday. You know, it was kind of a bland day. And I thought to myself, 
I could do that. I'm going to do that. So I did it. So you suck two feet of dental floss up your nose. Well, I mean two to three feet. Who's measuring? Two to three feet? What were you thinking? Dad, I have an inquiring mind. An inquiring mind. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we need to inquire from the doctor on how to get the floss out of your head. It's probably lodged up in your brain. I don't think you understand anatomy. I am not getting lectured about my lack of understanding of anatomy by somebody who snorted dental floss up their nose and has it lodged in their brain somewhere, clearly affecting your thinking. Okay, fine, but does it have to be the doctor that I went to last week for my 16-year-old checkup? Because I think that will be really, 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 really awkward. Well, that is your doctor. It's the only doctor we have. You should have thought about how really, really, really awkward it was going to be before you went and snorted dental floss. Ugh! I have to use the bathroom. All right. Well, I'm going to make an appointment, so I'll call the doctor while you're using the bathroom. Fine! Fine. Hey, Dad, I found the floss. What do you say we cancel that doctor's appointment? <laughs>